So the question always is, when does the disease start and how does it progress there? Uh, when it comes to younger people uh, who are still employed, generally it's picked up much earlier. You see, way back when we started uh, to work with Alzheimer in the 70s, we decided to make some kind of a classification of different stages of the disease. The first one is the preclinical stage, that you don't go anywhere. You just ignore the situation. And then you are evaluated. It is very convenient if you can have stages, maybe with numbers even. In this particular case, I have a very special prejudice because the problem with staging is that the different symptoms of the disease, yes, you can say there is a mild, moderate, and advanced stage. These are not really markers that you can stay as of today. This has changed. You have to look at this in a very broad context. But to assign specific numerical stages to different things. For instance, I have seen number of people, this is not very common, somebody who starts the disease by having difficulty remembering words. These people suddenly are deprived of the ability to speak. They can speak, but the words aren't there. And this is sometimes in people who are very highly functioning. The family was told, yes, it is Alzheimer's disease. You have to be prepared for the fact that it will progress. And the most important thing I tell them, I don't know how fast is it going to progress. Because all the data I have are statistical data based on a large number of people. And for a specific situation, I consider this to be totally useless. Because give somebody statistical data means nothing. I have seen, and the limited number of people that I have seen myself is, a lady from being independent businesswoman to her death from Alzheimer, nine months. I have seen people who had a disease definitely way over 20 years. So what do you tell an individual? It's going to be three years, five years, 10 years, whatever. So it's really a matter of leaving the simply admitting our own ignorance in this particular case. So the way we have to understand Alzheimer's disease is that it doesn't progress according to a specific triptych. I go there first, next, there, and there next. Ah, uh -uh. It goes wherever it happens to go. Maybe some of it can be a result of some environmental factors. We really don't know. But we do know is most unpredictable in this course.